Hi, I'm Dave Mars with Conservation Tips. You know, the wintry winds are a really good time to find out where your energy losses are, and we're going to take a look at your door today and give you some details on it. Now, any door can be weather stripped across its perimeters, and you can pretty well stop the air with what's available in your local hardware store. But the weak link on a lot of doors, of course, is down here in the bottom, where your threshold lies. Well, it gets a lot of wear and tear over the years, and it goes out of adjustment, you know, it can get pushed down. Now, you might be able to find a suitable weather stripping flap that would go on the bottom of such a door, but what happens a lot of times if the floor is uneven, or if, say, you've got some carpeting out here, or maybe extra carpeting out for the wintertime to catch those sloppy boots that are walking in, you may not be able to open the door very well. So in that situation, a good alternative for you might be to construct a sand snake. And it does a really good job of effectively wrapping on the uh, contours of the threshold, and it's a fairly easy thing to make, and we're going to show you how to make one today. First thing you need to do, though, of course, is measure the width of the door. And we have a 36-inch door here today. And now let's go find some fabric. Now, of course, you can find a lot of different fabrics. If you go to the fabric stores, you might have something laying around. But what you want to look for is a nice tight weave, because we want the sand to fall through that weave. Now, we can use a nice thin fabric like this. It's really tightly woven. It might not hold up as well as the years go by. And, of course, it'd be a nice light color. It might show up some dirt, too. Maybe you got a little wild interior decorating going on. You can use a little wilder fabric like this. Uh, this is a piece of upholstery fabric. It's a really nice choice because it's heavy weight. It's got some color to it. It'll hold that sand. Also, though, one of the standbys is just using like a thick cotton duck canvas like this. Really tightly woven, made for a lot of durability. And so that's going to be our choice today. Now, the first thing that you want to do, of course, is lay your fabric out in a big enough table, hopefully, that you've got something like this at home. And we want to, of course, measure our 36 inches, like so. But we're going to add a couple of inches, so we've got a little extra, because we're going to turn this thing inside out, and you want a little extra around the edges. So 38 inches is what we're going to cut the length to be. In terms of the width, well, a good 2-inch diameter uh, tube takes care of most doors like that. And that means you want about a 6-inch showing here. And again, you want maybe a couple more inches for the salvage or for any waste. So we're going to make it 8 inches wide. So you're going to go ahead and make your marks at 8 inches on across the fabric. And then, of course, with this dark fabric, it makes it a little harder to, to see. Now, you can use chalk, of course, or I'm going to use a Sharpie here to make a line. And just go ahead and make your line on down the fabric, like so. Now, and then of course, we need to cut that fabric. Now, if you use a fabric that has a pattern to it, one thing you might want to make note of is that we want to have the pattern on the inside, because we'll be turning this bag inside out. And then next you need to fold the fabric in half and pin it along the long edge and a short edge in preparation for stitching. Of course, you want to stitch it along, give yourself about a half an inch from the edge, finish it off on the short end to create the sack to hold the sand. Once we've sewn it down the long side and the short side, we need to turn this inside out. Now, if you use a little heavy, heavier fabric, it might be a little more difficult to do than with a lighter fabric, but if you just take your time, it'll work itself out. And we went ahead and made another one and have it turned inside out already for you, and this is what it'll look like. Now, if you've got a, a fabric with a pattern, of course, you want the pattern to be outside, not on the inside when you come to this stage here. And this stage here is simply just filling it up with some sand. Now, you can buy play sand at the hardware store, uh, white sand, it might be a little cleaner than some of the play sand. I just basically bought a tube sand that you can use for ballasting your car during the winter time here. And uh, it's got a little stuff in it, but it's fairly clean. We don't want that dust to, occur, you know, to come through the fabric and onto your threshold. Uh, and what you want to do is fill this up about 95% full. We want the bag to be somewhat floppy so it'll conform to the threshold uh, irregularities. Um, and so go ahead and continue to do that. And then we'll have to stitch the end shut and see how it fits. Now, once you get your tube about 95% full of sand, we want it to have a little bit of give to it so it can conform to your threshold and door end uh, real well. We want to go ahead and stitch the end shut. Now, you've got to pin it, of course, and then run your stitches back and forth and finish up the job. See, oh yeah, that's how that's how you want it to fit. When you get a little bit of give in there, you can see how well it compresses to the to the shape of the threshold there. 
Now, an average bag of sand is going to get you about enough sand for six or seven of these snakes, so you might want to consider making more than just one. They're really good gift for your friends, and they'll remember you a lot when they're stopping that cold air from coming in. You may want to add a little more artistic uh, highlights to it like this, put a little eye on there with a button and some, think of a smile perhaps. Or you might find some patterns that uh, have been made before. This uh, sweet little thing has been saving a lot of energy over the years. Now this is made with stuffed fiber film, not quite as dense as the sand. I like the sand because it really stops the air from coming in. But you can see there's a variety of things you can do with this. And the idea is to start saving energy today. This is Dave Mars of Conservation Tips. We'll see you next time.